Greetings and salutations, I am back down the shed again, um, after yesterday's complete utter failure, I decided to, you know, rest up, declutter my brain and, you know, come back down and finish up my job. I need to get this buckle done so I can finish up Ralph, so this just has to be done. I already done a little bit of prepping this morning, already drilled out, it's on a clamp because it's aluminium, so it's metal, metal loves heat, drilling, creates friction, creates heat, and so I have to use a clamp. That's pretty much done for now. So, so I've got the hole there. That's where the, the button's gonna come through. And all those other holes. Now, two reasons, if you don't, re if you don't realize already. Um, one, just a great way to get rid of a lot of material. And two, so I can poke through little hacksaw so what you do with one of these is you just untighten that because these are just held like most of these kind of things are just held by tension as long as it's loose enough so you can poke that little thing through poke it into your hole and just stick it back on and just tighten that back up now I wish I had a scroll saw you know, would use a scroll saw for this but for what I'm doing that should be that should be enough. Now what I'll do now is I'm gonna put that in the vise and just start cutting these out as much as I can before I start getting the files out and start flattening it out. I've also got to fix these side bits. Now I've been thinking about trying to do them on the belt sander here, but I don't think I've really got enough clearance to get in there. So I'm probably gonna to have to hand do them anyway. Um, which kind of sucks, but that's what you get sometimes. You just gotta just gotta suck it up and get it done. So let's get cracking. So yeah, I've just finished the buckle and I just checked the uh, the camera phone <laughs> and uh, apparently it's only got a 10 minute uh, record life. 
in standard you know HD that's okay you saw what I was doing and I finished the buckle I could polish this I could probably go over it make sure it's nice and clean and all the other bullshit but it's really close up there I don't mind if it's a bit scrappy uh, I said it's Furica Ralph is a hobo it's gonna go right there the walls are probably a bit too thick but you know what that's gonna be more than rigid enough and I'd rather have a bit of rigidity I was hoping to curve it out but honestly I'm I'm starting to get really tired from all that uh, filing uh, yeah doesn't help doesn't help that this handle kept falling off and I've tried to bodge it back on but nah figure that out later so yeah I couldn't find a more coarser uh, file it might be somewhere else that would have actually taken a lot of this material off a lot quickly and I just uh, you know use this file to shape up just keeping it on the vise moving along shaping up rounding off those corners that's also a very big biggie especially because you know this is going to be charity work don't want people getting scratched I don't want to get caught on my clothes I don't want to get scratched by it so yeah going over softening those edges I could have tried to take more time but realistically speaking that's going to be fine so yeah that's going to go right there well now that that's done I can finish sewing the overalls so that's done and I just need to work on the shirt I've got a flesh toned undersuit for the feet which was my Fred Flintstone, but I'm trying to I'm gonna remove the collar, the zip broke, so I've got to fix that. I could have polished this, but honestly, actually that's the other reason I didn't want to polish this. It is I have actually I've actually gone over with a few different grades of sandpaper just to make sure it looked a little less scratchy. Ultimately I didn't particularly want it to be really shiny because you know just in case even though a lot of times don't get a lot of flash photography at events, I I just want to make sure there's no glints or anything like that. You know, if you're out in the sun, it's not going to be, you know, reflecting light off the sun into people's eyes. It's not going to be too distracting or anything like that. It's just, it's realistically speaking, just a simple piece. I could go over this with a bit of black acrylic paint, you know, put it in the, uh, the notches and stuff like that. But I'm not ultimately all that bothered. Um, just want to. Use the uh, isopropyl alcohol. So that was nice and cheap from Bunnings, a very special. So yeah, um, it's not perfect. It's but it'll it'll stand up for a cursory glance. It's nice and light as well. So I will be doing charity events in this two weeks from now. Well, the time you would watch this, it could probably be a week. So yeah, it's. Uh, Already starting to get busy. I've got uh, some zoo events later on with Pack. Um, I'm gonna have to if I somehow get all these done. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna um, what my next project's gonna be like. Cause I mean, I'm actually quite enjoying doing these little vlogs while I'm working and recording stuff. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of taking photos of my work because I find I get into the zone and just want to keep working. Setting up video, I can only set the camera up, press record, get it done, and then stop. And talking about it, I don't know, it just works a bit better for me. So yeah, please um, please keep continue watching. I am going to please like, share, subscribe, all that usual nonsense. You know, spread the word, say, hey, there's some guy who does this weird shit down a shed and I want to see him become more popular and maybe give him money. I uh, I'm kidding, of course. Yeah. You know. If you have any interesting projects you think I might tackle, or some tasks, or some tips and tricks you might want to see, you know, uh, you know, comment below. You know, look, look, go to my Facebook page at Fanboy Crossing, the page, and see what you want me to do there.